Hello, good morning. Hey everybody. All right, so I've been thinking a lot this morning. I put a post up. Uh, I don't know if it was last night or this morning, but it basically said, you know, I needed to learn how to be an investor. I needed to know everything possible so that I could start investing. And if you're in that position right now where you feel like you need to know every single thing before you can get started, I want I want to talk to you about Einstein, all right, because he was pretty much, I mean, he changed so many things about this world that we live in, right? But while he was living, people thought he was crazy. He did lots of weird things, and it's only now that we reflect back on his genius that we really see what kind of genius he was. So one thing I want to tell you about Einstein is that he was born a regular kid, just like you. In fact, he didn't talk until he was like, what, four or five? Like, people just thought he was, they thought he wasn't, they thought he wasn't all the way going up here. They thought his elevator didn't go all the way to the top. And it turned out that he was just brilliant. His elevator went all the way to the top and then, and then some. But... He wasn't very good in school either. Because his brain didn't work the way the government wanted it to. His brain didn't work the way that his parents thought it should. His brain didn't work the way all of his little friends' brains worked. And that's okay. He ended up being amazing. But what did he do? What made him so much different than, you know, everybody else that lived at his time or lives now? Y'all tell me in the comments. What did Einstein do that made him so much different than anybody else? That totally set him apart from anybody and everybody in the world? Y'all tell me in the comments. Because... I'll tell you the one thing that I think he did so much different than everybody else is not only did he learn stuff and he probably had so much in his brain that he couldn't say it out fast enough to people who would listen to him. He probably died with as much in his brain as he finally got out of his brain. But the thing that made him different is that when he figured something out, he went for it. He tried it. He experimented with it. He told people who probably laughed at him, but he also told people who he could help. He told people who ended up taking what he'd discovered, what he'd figured out, and they went and took off with it. All right? And then he collaborated with them, said, you know, what did you find out? What worked for you? What, what didn't work for you? But he kept going, and he took action. He didn't, I mean, he, I'm sure he sat in a little room plenty of times, just tinkering on stuff, just learning stuff, but he wasn't just sitting around watching YouTube videos. When he found something, when something sparked in his brain, he took action on it. He went out into the world and he tried it. He went out and he asked more questions. He went out and he failed. He went out, and he may have failed on the big mission, but he succeeded on small milestones. That's no different than what I did. I went out. I had an idea. I wanted to go do it, so I went out, and I got told no. I got rejected. I technically failed. But I kept going because I made little small steps that got me to a milestone and got me to another milestone and finally got to where I got a house under contract, got another house under contract. I kept going. I did 14 deals in like nine months, but I had probably two or three hundred, two or three hundred. I mean, I have reams of paper from people who told me, no, you're crazy. That won't work. But I had 14 people that said yes. That's not even 10%, guys. 
I really have no idea how many times I failed. I have no idea how many people told me no that first year. I have no idea how many times I even started to give my one-liner and I confused people or I turned them off or something and I lost a lead right there. I have no idea how many times I failed in my mission. All I know is that 14 times I succeeded. I was successful 14 times in nine months. And that's what I focus on. Because every time I succeeded in a little bit, I figured out my one-liner. I talked to more sellers. I had more appointments. I had no's. I had maybes. But I had yeses. I took action. Just like Einstein did. I kept going. I figured out what worked. I tested my hypothesis. I made up new hypotheses. I tried out different things. I kept going. I took massive, massive, massive action. I went to boot camps. I traveled for seminars. I watched some YouTube videos. But more than anything, I got out there and I got my feelings hurt. I got rejected. I got used to hearing no so much that when I did hear yes, I had little fireworks going off in my brain. It was amazing. Because I was winning. Because I knew that I was a winner. Because that some people thought I was crazy, but this person, this person right here needed me. And I knew that I was going to do everything possible. I was going to jump through so many hoops to help that one seller. Because, yeah, I was probably going to make a lot of money. But because I was going to be a positive impact in their life. And I knew that would become a positive impact in my life. And I kept going. People told me no. People rejected me. I made good offers. I made bad offers. I made crazy offers. But I got better because I made offers every single day. Kept going. Keep going. Be like Einstein. Keep going. Try out new things. If something works, fine. If something doesn't work, fine. Keep going until you figure out and you have a system, you have a rhythm, you know exactly what to say, you know what their rebuttal is going to be, you know how you need to respond to that, and you know how to flow through it. None of us were born knowing how to buy houses. Einstein wasn't born with the theory of relativity in his head and whatever else he did. I'm sure he did lots of great things. But he wasn't born with that in his head. He had to get exposed to it. He had to learn about it. He had to feel through it. He had to try it. He had to fail at it. He had to try it again. He had to say, okay, this part worked, but that one didn't, so let's try it like this. That's exactly how you need to go about buying houses and investing in real estate. You have to be like Einstein and take massive action. Think through it, process it, reflect back on it. You know, you can get your hair done. You don't have to look all crazy like he did, but you have to keep going. You have to try things. You have to be active. You have to take action. All right. I'll tell you about Einstein time later because I recently discovered Einstein time and I love it. So if you want to get ahead of your homework, go ahead and Google YouTube, look up Einstein time because I just found out about it back in June and it is good. Like I just found out about it like a month ago and it's already changed my life, changed my world. So y'all look up Einstein time. I'll tell you what I think it is about later. And I'll be back today at 1 uh, for like a proper real video. All right? I got to go. I got my weekly meeting with my group, with my one-on-one -on -one students. So I've got to go. Uh, right now the group program is closed though. So if you're trying to get into the group program, it, it's closed. I don't know when I'm going to open it. Um, so if you're, if you're looking for more real estate investing, uh, I'm working on a cheat sheet right now to explain to you how I did 
14 deals in nine months. Um, so if you're interested in that, say yes in the comments here. I'll add you to the list of people that I'm building this cheat sheet for. Um, but my coaching is closed down right now. So um, if and when we open it back up, I'll let you know. All right, y'all. Have a good day. I'll be back at 1. Look up Einstein time. But keep going. Take action. action. Try things. Try things. Try things until you figure it out. Bye, y'all.